So I got my hands on the Fjallraven Polar trousers and I want to show you around because they're quite special. There are so many buttons here on the side. It might take a while. There are four buttons to begin with. Underneath that is a zipper and then there's Velcro. We might be here a while. Zipper is snagging. Yeah, that's better. Still tends to snag. And here you can actually see that Fjallraven didn't use the fabric that they normally use on the zipper flap. And you can see what the result of that is. The zipper is really snaggy. Maybe you can see on camera, this is a slightly different fabric that they used on the cap touring jacket and I have zero issues with this but this one this is just some soft material and it snags I can't even open these trousers so I can't really tell where it's snagging I don't understand what's going on how can this zipper be? Okay, so I found part of the issue. It seems that these trousers are put on from the bottom, not the top. This doesn't eliminate the snagging issues, but it does explain why I couldn't open them up at the top. Okay, five minutes later, <laughs> finally done. Okay, so to put on these pants, it will be a little bit different. There are these guys that you first will need to put on. That will keep the trousers in place and then trying to find the zipper and hopefully this way will go better. And as you're putting them on, you can use the Velcro to keep them in place a little bit while you fight the zipper. Then try to find the right button. We'll go for this one. On the other side, The snagging zipper is quite bad. I can't really believe that they've made it like this. Very surprised. They usually have much better zippers, especially on a polar range. You would expect this to be much better. So because of the snagging zipper, I'm not able to close them and I don't want to be here for too long. So I'll just show you some of the features of the, these pants. Let's start with the pockets. This isn't a pocket, this is just a zipper. And with that, you can access your pocket of your trousers. There's a zipper, this one is running smoothly. And there's also a clip button. There are large pockets in the front. They're quite, quite generous, quite roomy. And underneath, there are knee pads. If you have an offers those also for the cap trousers, but here they're actually built in. And this is to provide you with some insulation. If you're working in a cold and you need to be on your knees in the snow, uh, this is how you will keep your body warm. There's a pocket up front. It's a small pocket for some keys maybe. And there's a gear loop for maybe uh, your gloves or something like that on the other side as well not a, a real pocket but just opening to access uh, your inside pocket and then the snagging zippers of course there are a lot of buttons to keep it in place this is good for ventilation purposes but also if the zipper would fail <laughs> as we've seen can happen you can still sort of close the pants using velcro and buttons and this is just for safety purposes because right now i can't close them if i was in a really cold environment this could be very very dangerous so with the velcro and the buttons i still can close them a little bit let's look at the front at the front there's a large zipper as well also a velcro and two press buttons and now for the reason why these pants actually are different from every other pants from Hiraven and the zippers start at the bottom which is very unusual 
But there's a good reason for that. So as we unclip this and we'll undo a little bit here, you can see that the pants will stay in place in the front, right? So these are still the pants and the backside has been dropped. And this is so that you get some room to do your business without needing to take off the pants entirely. Because if you're in a cold and if you're competing in the Fjordhaven Polar, then you'll be wearing those the whole day. And if you need to uh, get your business done, this is how you can do it. And the front will still stay in place and you will just need to pull this up to the front and then the backside is exposed. So I think this is the real reason for it. And actually it's a, it's a quite a smart and clever way of doing things. And I really like that they are kept in place by these elastic bands. And at first I was surprised that you cannot really remove them. Uh, you need to use them. But I tried to use these pans without them. And what you'll notice is they're just so big and heavy that they will tend to fall down because they're not uh, attached around your waist. They're, they're quite loose on, on all sides, which is nice because this provides you with some extra comfort and also extra insulation. But yeah, you'll need to keep those and actually, yeah, it's, it's not a big deal. They're quite, quite comfortable. So uh, looking at the bottom, there's some reinforcement here and there's also a way to attach them to the boots and there's also an elastic band to tighten them. Uh, although what I've noticed is that they're surprisingly roomy at the bottom. So that's maybe to facilitate bigger boots. I'm not sure what the reason for that is. That's the only thing I can come up with. So yeah, these pants are very big, very heavy. The only possible use for them that I can come up with is really to use them during the Fjordhaven Polar, which is a dog sledding event, where you basically just stand on the sled the whole day. Um, this would also be good if you just need to, you know, set up some camp or work on, on chopping some wood uh, in, in the winter because they are very sturdy, they are reinforced, but I would never use them for something like hiking or even skiing, ski touring. They're just too big and bulky. They're not that comfortable to move around with. They're more just for standing around and maybe walking around the camp and that's it. So yeah, the name is perfect for the trousers because these are the Phil Raven Polar trousers. And I guess if you're working with dogs, it's great that you have pants that can actually handle the dogs maybe jumping on you and you don't need to worry about them getting damaged. So let me know what you think in the comments. Have you ever used them? Do you think you will use them? Let me know and I'll see you in the next one.